Well, it is an exciting day. Yesterday, we bought a four-wheel drive tractor and I was waiting for the ripper to come in and Buck gave me a call this afternoon, actually, and the ripper just came in. And so I think he has it hooked up to the four-wheel drive tractor, so we're gonna have two John Deere 9000 series tractors now. And I think that that's definitely gotta be it. Unless somebody else in town has a 9000 series with a ripper that just arrived here, that's my tractor. That is not a parking spot. I tried to make that work as a parking spot right between there. <laughs> no, that would be horrible. Okay. For some reason, I was thinking that was a parking spot. Come on. Come on. She ready, Buck? Hang on. I'm finishing up this game of Space Invaders. Hang on. It, I'm almost there. It's still... You're still open. Never beat that high... What? Yeah, I'm on my break. Okay. Doesn't matter anyway. You messed me up. Gerald still has the high score. This grouper came in? Yep, that is yours right there. Okay. It's your whole, it's your whole shebang. Now I'm supposed to inform you of something that we have a little gift for you. I'm not in favor of it because I don't like giving you handouts, but apparently they have a little gift for you for the amount of stuff that you've bought from us over the last 30 to 40 years. I think that means I'm buying too much stuff when you start getting all the gifts. Uh, yeah. The fact of the matter is they have a custom little project that they piece together for you in the shop. But it's a custom 110 articulated tractor, so you can kind of uh, ride around with uh, a mini version of what you just bought. This, this, is, this, uh, is, this is free. For... This is this is free. What, what's the catch, Bob? I'm, told that, it, the I'm catch? told that it is. I can't say anything because, like I said, I'm not in favor of giving you handouts, but this is apparently a gift for your continued support and your continued purchases that you've made through the Holland and Sons deal. Buck it's gives the custom me project they put together. something I'm not free. giving it to you. The dealer's giving it to you for free. I'd charge you $80,000 for this thing. You've changed, Buck. And I like I it. I haven't changed I like anything. It. I like it. Okay. Yeah. Please crash it into the side of the building on your way out. <laughs> well, that'd, that'd be expensive, Buck. Aim for, the, aim for the parts van. Okay, so we got this John Deere 110 garden tractor. That, surprisingly, Buck gave to us. Um, how are we gonna get this thing in the bed of the truck? You sure that's gonna be able to lift that thing, Buck? I was thinking like a, a bobcat. Well, we have the counterweights on the back of it. There you go. Ah, uh, look who it is. Our nephew. You mean our rich cousin now at this point? Pretty much. That'll work. Yeah. Just smash it out the back windshield. It's all good. <laughs> okay, Buck. Let's see if you can do this. What are you two Holy doing? Holy cow, this thing's actually a lot heavier than I thought it would be. <laughs> Try lift it from the front. Okay, a little sketchy, but it should work. Is he skilled enough? Come on, Buck, don't drop it on my truck. There you go. I mean, they only made two of these, one for me and one for Grant. So if you drop it <laughs> Is that it what now, he told Buck, you? Yeah. I've seen I didn't multiple tell anything. I didn't see him get that thing sold to him. Uh, looks like to me this might have to ride on top of the, okay. top of the bed rail. Sure, just put it there. Keep going. Should be good right there. There you go. Yeah, fit perfect. Okay, so we're gonna have to come back for the pickup truck. I'm gonna take the tractor because we need to get started on tillage. And this is the first time driving the 9530. We have the 9630T, but it doesn't work properly. We'll see you, Buck. Don't hurt yourself now. Should be good. Okay, we've got the hazards on. We are gonna hit the road with this thing. Now the model's a little unrealistic, like the disc blades, the shanks are like we're scratching the ground pretty much. It's, it's weird with this model, so hopefully we don't yeah, we're good, but it's weird. It's cool how the the wheels like spin and stuff as you're going down the road. It's kind of it's kind of cool, kind of realistic. This thing just looks sweet. It looks like a beast. I don't know if I like the 9630T with tracks better or the 9530 with big wheels. I'm not sure what's better. We'll we'll kind of figure it out. But as far as compaction, the track should be a little better than this, I guess. And there goes Renault Man Buck. Looks like he's got a service job. We're going to get this in the field. We're not even going to drive it to the farm first. I'm going to unfold her. See if we can line her up. I think it has, I think Buck has it set to like the, just the normal standard tillage depth. So we'll go check it once we load it in the field. Let's see if we're at the right depth. Okay, so we did a pass with this thing and this thing leaves like a ton of residue like here's the pass I did me and Nate are trying to figure this thing out like we could get it a little more black than that it's literally like a VT vertical tillage tool what are you thinking Nate vertical tillage is a better job than this that's what I was thinking I mean do you got it set aggressive or I got you... it set deep 
Oh, there's Buck. Okay, fast forward two hours. Me and Buck and Nate got in a huge argument about tillage. And so Buck decided from the John Deere dealership to bring back, bring down a lot of this tillage equipment. We're gonna just try it and see what does the best. So first, we're gonna run the Landall VT, see how it does. And then we're gonna run the Sunflower VT, vertical tillage is what VT stands for. And then we're gonna run the disc ripper and see if we can figure this out a little bit. Cause right now it's like just not making the ground black. Lower it in the ground and it is making the ground more black than what we had. Interesting. I bet you if we run the disc ripper behind it, it'll do a really nice job. This is actually work. This is actually a really nice tool actually. It's doing a heck of a job. Now Buck is gonna try out the Sunflower VT and see what that does. So this is some lease residue, some not as much residue. And now I'm gonna go into the corn stalks where there's a little more residue and we're gonna see what this does. Drop her down. Oh, that is nice. That leaves a really nice finish. And we can go at 11 mile an hour too. Yeah, that works really good. So we're gonna see how Bucks does over here. I'm gonna go watch him. Ooh, that, do that does even a better job. That does a really nice job too. Okay, Buck, how fast can you go in there? Nine's what I had in the, on the monitor. I could go 11. The 95, the Landall seems to be able to pull faster, but it's not leaving it as black too at the same time. Well, now I gotta work out a deal with Buck to buy that sunflower, because that's gonna be our go-to in the fall. Well, Buck, what's it gonna take to get that sunflower bought? be within your price range. I think we have that one down at the dealer for, uh, give me a second. My old head can't remember it. Look it up on my listing. We can get you that for about 75,000. Okay. Could I ever trade in the disc ripper? Cause it costs pretty much the same. Would you do that? We can, but the fact that you're giving us back green paint and taking a red, we don't really like that. So there will be a little bit of money exchanged. Well, this one's on used. This one's used. This one's pretty used. Wait, you, this thing's brand new. What? You just ran it across my ground. It's used. Yeah, that's about all it's ever done. Yeah, I know. Whereas this one, pretty much brand new. It ran like 10 feet. That one, that, this one's pretty used. I just watched our dealer give you a free handout of a garden tractor, and you're going to complain to me about $3,000 on an uptrade to this thing? You've already gotten enough handouts for the day, buddy. It's $75,000. Well, 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 well. The we'll dealer. give you $70,000 for that. We need $7,000 up front if you want this thing right here, right now. The dealer told me the disc ripper was going to do a good job, and it is just junk. It's junk. So okay, the dealer that's lied. not my problem. You sold me a product that was junk. So I want to take it back. Simple as I mean, that. I mean, it's green. It's That's green what I just snow. said. Not everything green is amazing, Nate. You'll learn that in life. I know I know that. I mean, that's why I work with a Case IH dealer, because I know the new stuff coming out, Case IH is one of the best for. The newer John Deere stuff ain't so much good. Okay, well, we talked to Holland and Sons. Those guys were nice enough to just trade straight up. So we got to trade up straight and trade instead of giving any money, which is nice. Buck and his manager, they talked about it and stuff, and they thought it was, it was fair to just trade straight up. So that's what we did. So um, those tools are pretty much equal in price, and it worked out good. Okay, so the plow day is underway, but a while back I bought a 4020, and we're going to go pick that thing up. Actually, not a while back. Honestly, like a day ago. That's why I have $26,000. Everybody's getting set up for the plow day. Guess who's run late? It's me. Oh, gosh. <laughs> we just ran over Nate, but otherwise... We're gonna go pick up a 4020. Um, it's a synchro, and it's got a six row or six bottom plow with it. And I got the gooseneck hooked up, and we're gonna go pick that thing up. We're running late, so we gotta keep her on the move here. We got all green lights, so that helps a lot. Okay, so we got the so we got the 4020, and the plow wouldn't fit out on all the way, but it worked out good because we could fold the ramps up, and the plow's still being dragged, and the wheel's still spinning back there, so. It works good, but everybody's lined up here at the neighborhood. Got everybody lined up. Got Nate, got Buck, got me. So, we're gonna get this thing unloaded. Is the bearing uh, gone on that thing, or is it still there? It, it's just still there. I don't know to be proud of you for getting a Case IH plow, or to say it's sacrilegious, what you just did here. Ah, it's all good. So this is 4020, it's an eight speed synchro shift transmission. It's got the side console, so you got your hydraulics right there. Pretty nice tractor and 
we'll get her lined up. Okay, so what Nate's doing is he, he's getting the ground prepped. We got a bunch of corn stalks and stuff. He's kind of like disking, working them in like two inches. And then we're going to go through with our machines and really plow them. Because if we plow into this corn stubble, for some reason, the texture, it doesn't like, it doesn't totally make it black like this. It like turns it a different, it doesn't, it doesn't do much. So Nate's going, he's going to go up and down, knock that out, and then we'll be ready to go for the plow day. Oh, uh, Bucks, Bucks just arrived with the 50-20. Mm-hmm. Where's your plow? Whichever uh -huh. one can't do the job, I'll do it with that. Okay. Well, the 40-20 is rolling at 7 mile an hour. I can't believe it's pulling at seven mile an hour, but we're doing her. Oh yeah. Come on, baby. I can go eight with this thing. You can go eight? Yeah, well, it's also only. We are rolling cool like crazy, but the 4020, she's pulling her in fourth gear, just fine. And Nate and Buck are making the turn. The 4020, she's pulling her. I mean, in real life, could it pull this six bottom plow? Probably not, but I mean, it's, it's doing it just fine for now. Now we are slipping a bit with the 4020. As soon as we get into a hill, it seems like we just start slipping. There she goes. Somebody's gotta get the big bud. Oh, he's getting the, uh... <laughs> dude, I don't think that's gonna be able to pull it. <laughs> oh, this will pull it. You think so? Oh, watch Versus out, watch time, out, watch yeah. out. One, two, three, four, five, six. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 bottom plow. If it is, it ain't gonna go very fast. I don't think it'll pull it. Y'all have no faith. Here we go. We're gonna find out. There's also a lot of dirt that, that thing's pulling up. Okay, drop her down, Nate. Let's see her. It is pulling it. Are you serious, dude? Pulling it like butter. Nothing like okay. butter. I'm telling you now. Oh, uh, you got a downshift, man. I don't know what you're talking about. He's spinning. Come on. How is he pulling this thing? Well, that whole thing, thing like butter? There he goes. There he goes. The best part is that he's on flat ground right now. If not going downhill, let's see how he does in about five seconds. True, true. I don't know, but she's doing it. Yeah, you're she's slipping. She's not happy doing you're it. You're slipping. She ain't happy, but she's doing it. Come on, old girl. He's pulling it. Look at that go. There he goes. Oh my gosh, dude. That is insane. Buck's, Buck's giving the big butt a try. <laughs> Here we go, Buck. Oh gosh. I gotta go around the set the Duramax because it's too fat. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're hooking up the big bud to the 20 bottom plow. Now the first tile was able to easily pull it. We'll see if the big bud can pull it. Oh. Oh, like With it ease. ain't nothing. It's not like it ain't got nothing behind it. Look at this. Now, yeah, get it. There we go. Oh my gosh. Too easy. Look at it turning. Oh, look at that dirt going there. Okay, so for just some unrealistic fun, Nate called up his billionaire buddy, and we have three Big Buds with dual LSWs, Big Bud 747s. Now, there might only be one in real life. Am I correct? I think there is. For some reason, I feel like there's brothers. only one in real life. But our billionaire friends, they can get three for us. This just looks amazing. We got the guy working the VT. We're around three big buds. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're dropping her down. Nate's leading the way. We're heading back. Nope. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm telling you. you need, this is what you need to invest in right here. Go sell that uh, 5020 or 4020. And uh, bodies right here. Right there. That front left tire is worth more than that tractor as a whole. True. Okay. Well, boys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the 2000s plow day. We're going to stop right there. And next video will most likely be filling, fishing up tillage, kind of cleaning up equipment for the fall, and selling grain. Because we've got a lot of grain to sell and we only have $26,000. All of it's sticking in the bins right now. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And hey, we'll see you in the next one.